it gets no better at night. 500 Muslims had just been robbed and thrown out of their homes in West Mostar by the Croats. They had to cross the river Neretva to get to comparative safety on a bridge made of rope and planks. Bosnian soldiers told them which way to go. The Croats were shooting at the people they just made refugees. Only a few hours before, until the Croat gangs had come for them and forced them over the front line, they thought they were safe. They'd been settling down for the night. The Croat machine guns didn't let up and the refugees kept on coming. They were trying to kill old men and women, mothers and their children. She was so frightened she could barely walk, but she tried to calm her sons. Each new family has to be fed and housed. This is a war crime with a cold purpose, to increase the pressure on the military authorities in East Mostar. The brutality of the expulsions drives home the message that compromise with Croat extremists is neither possible nor desirable. The refugees spent their first night in East Mostar in a bombed out theatre. In one evening, all of them had lost their homes and possessions. They talked of persecution, rape and murder. We were driven to a small wood. My sons were pulled out of the car. They were taken into that wood. I was told that their throats were slit. I only live because I have to. Only because I have to. What sort of life is this? What do I know about politics? I've never thought about it. Tonight the Croat soldiers told me to shut up, to be quiet. That's what I did. I've never done anything to anyone. Oh, <laughs> 